Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the flow rate and how it's affected by numerous pumps. We're gonna try out a few things like a dual D5 top versus you know two single D5s. Is that more powerful? Uh, we are gonna be using the Aqua Tuning uh, High Flow Next, or I'm sorry, High Flow 2 uh, to get an accurate water flow measurement. Now, if you are using uh, this water flow sensor here, I do recommend uh, you use a Aqua, the Octo, or a D5 Next to run it into. It has to be calibrated properly. When I originally got this flow sensor, I had plugged it into my motherboard because there is a water flow input with a three pin fan header, and there's also a two pin temperature sensor. However, the flow rate is not calibrated correctly, or at least I don't think it is. I'm using five D5 pumps at 100%, and it tells me that I'm getting somewhere around 700 to 720 liters an hour. Now, that may seem plausible. I just, I'm not sure if I believe it. When I plug it into my D5 next and go through the proper calibration by setting up my internal tubing, the impulses uh, per second, and of course the coolant type I'm using, and the selecting the proper flow sensor based on the aqua tuning software i'm getting somewhere around 435 to 440 liters an hour that makes me 10 that seems to be a more believable number even though i like the high number i don't think it's accurate i think that the motherboard software is grabbing some readings from the flow meter and it's just kind of running wild with them so if you do have one of these you can plug it into the motherboard However, I don't think it'll be accurate. So in this video, we're gonna be running it hooked up to the D5 next, utilizing the proper calibration and getting a good reading on numerous D5 settings and numerous configurations, just to kind of see what flow rate is like and how it works. So this is our flow rate sensor we'll be using and it is set up and calibrated properly. We will be reading off of the D5 next here. So we can look at its screen and we'll be able to see our flow rate from this, okay? Let me set this uh, camera up properly here so you'll be able to see it. There we go. Here we can see uh, on the D5 next, this reading is from the actual high flow tube. There's a few settings you want to adjust to make sure the calibration is correct. And right now we are running two D5s, okay? Uh, now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to try a few configurations. We're going to run just one D5, and we're going to see what the flow rate is. So let me unplug them all, and we're going to run just one single pump. Right, there we go. So we're running only the D5 next. We are getting 180 liters an hour flow rate. The pump is at 100%. What I'm gonna do next is see how a dual D5 performs compared to two separate D5s. This is a dual D5 top. As you can see here, we have one D5 on one end and another D5 on the other end. So. These are primarily useful for saving space. If you only have one mounting spot or you know, you're trying to reduce the size, this is useful for that. Um, but I've always been kind of curious, how is the flow rate compared to two separate D5s? Is it just as good? You know, is it equivalent? Um, other than that, this top is amazing, right? So right now you can see that we are getting 179 let me try to get this thing to focus a little better here there we go we're getting 179 liters an hour with one single d5 at 100 percent so i'm going to hook up the second d5 on this dual top and we're going to see how this dual top performs how its flow rate is Okay, so I went ahead and plugged in the second D5 that's on this D5 top. 
and we'll see how it runs. So we are getting 253 liters an hour. This is one top with two D5s on it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug one of the dual D5s. So we're gonna run one D5 here and another D5 in a separate location, okay? Just to see how it performs. Is it worth having a dual D5 top? Is there any loss? So the dual D5 top will give you 254 liters an hour. Plenty of flow rate right there. We're gonna go back down to our 180. Getting 180 liters an hour right now. And we're gonna plug in a D5 from another location on the computer. So we'll be running one D5 in one location and another D5 in another location. All right, I went ahead and plugged in another D5. So we'll be running two separate pumps. Okay, we're getting 265 liters an hour now. So it looks like, or 266, it looks like there's a little bit of flow rate loss by running the dual top. Not much though. We are getting, if you're you know, running the dual D5 top, we're getting 254 versus running two separate D5s, we're getting 267. So, you know, not much there, roughly like, you know, a few liters an hour. The space savings is definitely worth running a dual D5. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind, okay? But two D5s will net you 267 liters an hour on your flow rate. All right, so we're gonna hook up the dual D5 again. We're gonna hook that guy back up. We're gonna see what three pumps will get us. All right, here comes the third one. And here we go. 325 liters an hour right there from three pumps. Now we're going to hook up a fourth D5. All right, that is getting us up to 380 liters an hour. 381. And here comes the fifth one. And we are getting 431 liters an hour. 432, 433, and there you have it. So, as you can see, 5D5 pumps, We'll get you 433 liters an hour. Running two separate D5s will get you a tiny amount of, you know, more flow rate if you run two separate D5s versus two together, but the actual difference is very small. We got 254 liters an hour with a dual D5 top as one singular unit versus 267 running two separate D5s. So the flow rate is very minuscule, it's very small. Um, I think this flow rate is accurate. It's five pumps running all together. Um, you know, keep in mind as well, my water is a little colder uh, than what some people may be running. Uh, you can see my water temperature is 13.6 Celsius right now. So that does have a little bit of an effect but not a whole lot. I saw the water get a little warmer 
and it was about one liter faster, one to two liters faster every five Celsius it was warmer. Okay, so if my water was 18 Celsius, it would probably be about 435. And my water was, you know, 23 Celsius, it would be about 436. If my water temperature was 28 Celsius, it'd be about 437. Um, 30, you know, then kind of going up, moving forward, it'd be about 438 if it was, you know, 32 Celsius, but not a huge impact on flow rate versus having water, warmer water. Um, the main reason of making this video was to just get a, a good reading. I was using a mechanical flow sensor, the Aqua Tuning LT, the High Flow LT, which is a stripped down version of this. It did have a really bad ticking sound, but apparently it wasn't even reading properly. Uh, I do want to show you the virtual flow rate um, when we're not using this sensor. So we're going to go over to sensors here. We're gonna to go to flow rate and we're gonna select the virtual sensor, okay? So we're gonna go back. You can see that the actual flow rate now says it's only 400 liters an hour using the virtual flow rate. Uh, so the D5 Next does not read quite as fast as it should. Now, How the one thing about accuracy on the virtual flow sensor is the loss is larger with the less pumps you're running. So we saw with one D5, we were getting 179 liters an hour. Let's unplug all of them and we'll see what the actual flow rate is with the virtual sensor. Okay, so the virtual flow rate is down to, wow, let's see, it's 98, 98. So you can see here that that virtual flow rate is just not really as accurate as, as a real flow sensor. Running this D5 Next at 100%, it says I'm getting 95 liters an hour. That's not correct. Not nearly, and I had put out a video originally, you know, originally, where I thought I was getting a reading off of the Aqua Tuning High Flow LT. However, I wasn't at all. I was actually getting a reading from the virtual flow rate. Um, so I'm going to end that video here. Thank you so much for watching. I recommend a real flow sensor, and if you're using the High Flow Two which is this guy right here. Make sure you use a D5 Next to plug it into and hook it up. Then you can calibrate it and you can read it right inside of Hardware Info and off your flow readings actual screen. So remember, the virtual flow said that we were getting, we're getting what, 99? The high flow two mechanical flow sensor says we were getting 179 to 181 with one D5 pump. So it's reading half as much as what it should. It's pretty close with five pumps, but with only one, it's only about 95 or so. Now let's hook up two. So with the dual D5 here, we were getting 254 on our high flow two mechanical sensor. The virtual sensor says that we're getting 185, 186. So I hope that's helpful. It's not quite accurate. The best way to do it is to get a proper reading and then you can adjust the virtual sensor to compensate. But my real flow rate is 433 or 434 liters an hour with five D5 pumps. I don't think it's 700 liters an hour running off the motherboard software, but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, look at that. It says, so essentially with two D5s, I'm really getting the flow rate of one. So the virtual sensor is just not quite accurate there. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.